Despite Barry being relegated from League One, George Miller was in impressive goal-scoring form for the Shakers since he rejoined his former club on loan in January. Miller, who was crowned the PFA Bristol Street Motors Player of the Month for February in League One, had a brief stay with Wrexham in December before he netted eight times for Barry during the second half of the season, including four in a row, making him the club's joint highest goal scorer. George Miller was Bury's joint top goal scorer with eight. Connor Ripley played alongside Miller at Barry after the Borough goalkeeper spent the first half of the season with championship side Burton Albion. Ripley was between the sticks for the Brewers during their run in the EFL Cup, which came to an end in the third round away to Manchester United, and he went on to make 16 appearances for Barry. A goalkeeper who's earned plenty of plaudits while on loan is Ainsley Pears, who caught the eye for Darlington since heading to the Quakers in January. The England under-20s international was a regular fixture in the Quakers' side, with man-of-the-match displays to steer them clear of relegation to a mid-table finish. Meanwhile another Borough Glovesman, Joe Fryer, spent the season with Stevenage, amassing 32 appearances for the League Two side. Nathan McKinley enjoyed a successful loan stint at Wickham Wanderers, helping the Chairboys secure automatic promotion to League One. After making the move to Adams Park at the beginning of 2018, McGinley made seven appearances for Wickham in their charge for promotion, and was labelled imperious by Wanderers boss Gareth Ainsworth. Having featured for Barrow during the EFL Cup successes against Scunthorpe United and Aston Villa, Lewis Wing went on to become a staple of Yeovil Town's midfield. Swing in FA Cup action for Yeovil Town against Manchester United as well as scoring a superb 25-yard strike on his third appearance for the Glovers, the 22-year-old went head-to-head -head with former England international Michael Carrick in midfield in the FA Cup. Callum Cook made 34 appearances for Blackpool during his season-long loan spell, scoring twice to help the Seasiders to a mid-table finish in League One. After penning a new contract with Borough in January, Alex Pattison headed to York City, who missed out on a playoff place in National League North. Marcus Tavernier burst onto the Borough scene in the early stages of the season, scoring in the League Cup and in the 1-0 win over Sunderland, before linking up with MK Dons in January, who were relegated to League Two. It was a lone spell of frustration for Harry Chapman, who joined Blackburn Rovers for the year, but made just 16 appearances for Tony Mowbray's side due to injury, scoring one goal. Rovers clinched the second automatic promotion spot to earn a place in the championship next season, a third League One promotion in three years for Chapman. Ashley Fletcher bagged two goals for Sunderland during his six-month loan stint with the Black Cats, the second in Sunday's win over Wolves, which wasn't enough to see them escape from the championship's drop zone. Martin Braithwaite returned to France on loan with Gus Poyet's Bordeaux, registering one goal in 12 matches. Antonio Berrigan made 30 appearances for La Liga side Real Betis while Julian Dessert has played over 30 times for Zult Warajem.